Hello everybody, and my name is Ender, and welcome to Steam Age, one of my most favorite, if not the favorite, rail fanning game. Well, not exactly, like, always like rail fanning, but just a really fun game. There's buses, there's trains, there's trams, all sorts of things. Now, unlike some others think, let's go to. What's, where's Kingsway? I've not been on trams for. We're actually not been on, period. Except for the. Um, Last April Fool's update when they were permanently added. Imagine, imagine going back to like London in the 60s, and this is what you heard. Just this. I mean, of course, you hear a constant chorus of car engines, but that's a lot different from what that is like. There's also, like, a lot of freight yards. What's, what's Dermont? Oh, it's Passenger Station, apparently. Yep, those are um, Steam Age Band Club's exclusives, including a, 18, a, a late 1800s locomote, a Sterling single. Now, that's an interesting one. You know, it's a BR Class 45. Now this is supposed to set place back when the when the um hang on let me think oh yeah back when you had the uh, back when it was like the age of steam back then I'm just getting a uh, oh si oh my it is an oh six oh. And no, I do not want, and no, like Synchronous says, please, none of the, um, comments saying, oh, hey, you're driving, oh, hey, you're driving, you're driving something, you're driving is something from Thomas Tank Engine. No, no, I am not. Not only would I, not only, like, Synchronous, if he was to get that kind of vibe from me, <laughs> There will be no more videos of this. That's not. I don't think, yeah, that's not. I think. Yeah, no, that's not what I'm looking for either. Fun fact from Thomas Tank Engine, um, Emily, the locomotive from there, is actually a sterling single. I'll show you one in the flesh very shortly. I do not want to hear Thomas the Tank Engine comments in, in, in the bottom. I, I swear I will delete each and every single comment. That says, "Why are you driving something from Thomas the, in the, Thomas the Tank Engine?" They will be deleted. You don't believe me? I swear that it will be gone. I am not. Forty one. Oh yeah, that's that's been around for a while. Peak. Let's go with. A stirring. We're not going with that one, the Class 5AT, since that's like a modern. We're gonna go with a Sterling single. Now, why this locomotive? Look at its interesting driving pattern. Look. It's all just one 
large wheel. Yeah, I know it's. I know my game's a little laggy right now, but. It's just interesting. Oh, still. I know, like, people are going to be like, why aren't you just driving a, a steam locomotive? Why are you just doing that and then hopping off them? Well, truth is. I mean, ER, J500. I've never heard. Oh, this is a, uh, this is, uh, something or other, alright. Where is the, it's operated by the on ER. There's the, uh, Ostery. There's the 57XX, little mess. There's a little pug. There's the E2 class. Now you can shush. Do these things have connecting rods? No, it doesn't. What? Alright, fine. We'll just pick up a bigger train. We'll pick up... A mighty B1 class. Well, technically, it's not mighty. We can go mightier. It's the mightiest one that we got in this area. Let's go past Gleason Works here. There's also a lot of cameras here. For example, there's a free, there's a cab, fireman, left, right, and back to free. I thought there was a scene here. Oh, that's probably for us. Still. And then suddenly we are we are we are gone. What? The route master's faster? I had a little horn go toot toot. Alright, still anyways, sorry. Um, Let's go look at some popular, like, mainline stuff. Or we could just go special. Yeah, since I have something special here I want to show you. Uh, not that one. Not the, the, the 20 class. Or the, uh, the 37 class. Uh... Oh, there's the Yuan Garat. That one's a fun one. This is a hog class, and yes, you're reading that right. It is a partial recreation, not complete due to the fact that it would probably be 
X out of by the, um, by Roblox. That actually sounds really similar to the one, to the, to the sound of the movie, actually. Look at that. Yeah, a wizard, Harry. Oh my gosh, I cannot do it right now. Alright, yep. 80 miles an hour. That's amazing. Curse back to special. Got it. This, my friends, is by far the weirdest locomotive you will ever notice. Uh, yeah, it's the Harry Potter. But it's someone definitely slowing down. For this massive machine. Still, this is a 2882 locomotive, unlike American ones, where the entire boiler is together. Where they're both, where these both, and where these both, both pistons mount would be, would be, would be near the middle, so the cab automatically connects. It is entirely one system. is one system the entire thing there are two articulated linkages in the front there's one articulated linkage in the front and the back to help this thing rotate around corners now off we go towards police and works so look at this Look, if you see, it can haul a ton. This would probably be the British definition of the Union Pacific 4884 Big Boy. And that's saying something. Compared to size, look at this. As it drives through the course, look at the rear. It's amazing. Can you see something as large as this? Look, there goes a A4 Mallard. Yeah, I know, I'm really lagging right now. Oh, we're out of lag. Look at that. Look at how majestic the train looks. It is massive. Probably about a third of the entire rolling stock size. Alright, there's Gleason. I guess we'll despawn now and then. And then we'll hop over two words. Um. Let's go for the E4 
Pacific class. This is the Mallard. And of course, you can't change the skin. There's a green one as well. Still, let's go to Baker Lane. I've never seen this, uh... This, air, this, um, this one before. Uh, it's probably a bit too late now to play off excess steam. Alright, and... Then... 60% throttle. That's right, we're opening this throttle up all the way here, guys. Let us go. Come on, we're going faster than the Hogwarts Express now. We are streamlined, we are lean, we're mean, we're angered machine boys. We are going a hundred miles an hour. Notice how it went up to like 102 and then dropped down the speed. That's because the turns do weird things. Okay, so it doesn't take that. That's that switch is infamous here. This is Holdsbury. Oh, it is. No, it's the Saint Denton. Oh, yeah. Now, now imagine, so this, before any like high speed trains like TGV and whatnot existed, this locomotive is quite literally the locomotive that would get you places on high speeds. They have been clocked at over a hundred miles an hour. Do not, okay, I'm going to repeat this one more time. Do not say this is Thomas the Tank Engine. It is, I don't care, just don't say it. Here we go, I want to switch. Going at 100 miles an hour. On deck, uh, huh? Hey, it's hidden. Good. Wait, there's a there's a settings button. There's a location pointers. Um, in all my years. That's Wooten Yard. Hello, Wooten. Let's go. Yoink. Shoom. There's a special complex up ahead. Best way we're gonna end up our video here is taking a look. The final two specials I have not shown you yet. No, no, I did pay for these, but it's been a very long time. And actually, actually, I actually think I paid for these like two years ago. Oh, yeah, Here's a double class twenty. What? I have no memories of this train. That train, I have no memories of. Here's the class 37 pa passengers. This one. I have definite memory of. Alright, so let's go. Alright.
Is it Garrett? City class. Holy crap, that thing's fast. Come on. I'm gonna take you on a full out route with me with me at the wheel. Of the Hogwarts Express. No, there is not a Polar Express, nor will there ever will be, most likely, because the Polar Express is based upon an American locomotive. Well, Harry Potter is actually Britain. It's actually a British thing, so that's why there is a Hogwarts Express. And also why Thomas Tank Engine exists, since I mean, originally it was a British television show. Alright, let's go through Wooten. Five nine seven two. Off we go to Hogwarts. I even wish though. Here we go. Corner. That mallet just swings it back. Oh, there were two mallards. In, no, I, I mean, Pacific's in there. So I call them mallards because it's the um, fast we sent to one of the clock trains with the high speed uh, understanding power. Um, the A4 mallard, which is a A4 Pacific class. Come on. Go. Baker Lane. Are we in some sort of elevation? No, we're not. Now, we'll, let's go through a bit of the facts. I think you already know. If you pay attention, it's like still bring one whatnot. This locomotive right here is a is a hall class locomotive. And I really like the looks of it. It also looks like James a little bit away from my Thomas Tank Engine childhood. But we're not going through that. We're not going to roleplay as James the Red Engine. No, no, no. And we're not going to go into some debate over Thomas Tank Engine. We're just going to finish off this, this half of a double special. Woohoo, yay! Because I have a, a like a plan for the next one over. The next for the next part of this double day special. And that is going to be truly something. Go. I can hide the menu. Woo wee woo wee. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I'm acting like a little child. Okay. Uh, I mean, adults gotta have their fun, you know. Uh. Gleason works. There's the second mainline shed. Which we will not go past. Are they on? Okay, good. Yep, some, okay, yeah, there's some sort of roleplay going on there. 
just go straight through Gleason Works and Thornhead in itself. Come on. I'll end the video out right at Baker's Lane. Like, I'll just try to slow down the moment I see it's a uh, full thing. Okay, come on. Where is it? Where is Baker Lane? Oh, so there is no fault here. That's Bargate. There's me my shed one. Which we will indeed be passing. There's a 5 AT coming out. Which is why I didn't want it since it is a modern locomotive. It was a rebuild. It was a locomotive built by some people. Okay. There's Tilworth, Tilworth Yard. Come on. Guess it really is a uh, a Hogwarts ride day. There is Saint Denton coming right up. I do not know what's going on. Keep going. Wooden power stations up on the, up on the left. Okay. There's a Pokemon right in front of me. It's a frail car. Am I gaining on it? I think I am. Uh, where does that go off to? Ah, uh, it goes off somewhere. Alright. Alright, we should not be going back through Wooden Yard. Since I've not seen Baker Lane yet. Also, I'm gaining up on speed on this thing. Come on. 
Come on. I literally have like four coaches. Is this person slowing down for the stop? Yeah, the connection rods are slowing down. And I can hear it now. And three, two, one. The Hogwarts Express continues on. We literally went on an entire lap around the special hall. Yeah, four mainline coach, four co four coaches. Let's keep going. Yum. Is that Baker Lane? Undetermined station. Um. Ooh. Hey, okay. wow, it's it. Oh, it goes over the ocean. At the next station, we absolutely stop at. I will. The next station that I see coming up, I will definitely be slowing down and stopping at. Come on. I guess you can say this is straight out of Hogwarts. The bridge. Water. I'm taking goes over a cliff, but still, it's just a curved bridge. All we need is a Ford Angelica that can fly. We're all set. <laughs> Whoa. Is that a tunnel? Tunnel dead ahead, apparently. Now, honestly, I'm being serious when I said I've not done this route yet. In fact, prior to this video, I've not done anything in this video yet. Anything in Steam Age for like a very long time. What are those overhead? What are those things overhead? Holes? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm confused. Oh, there are openings for tun the tunnel so the snow can come out. Oh, that's genius. Okay, here's Baker Lane. And that, my friends, was a trip on the Hogwarts Express to Baker Lane. Now, if you definitely enjoyed this, uh, this video where I go all out on British locomotives, <laughs> please leave a like, comment, subscribe, please also turn on the bell. I know I keep saying this, but it helps the YouTube algorithm, it helps me to stay here. I just did like that so much if you could do that that little thing for me. Still, until next time, Zender signing off.